Well, what's up everybody? Hope you're all doing great. In the next few minutes, I'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis on Dogecoin. Um, yeah, I had a big, or I had a rally, quite a rally, not that big. I believe something like 20%, a little bit more. Um, at the top, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit, um, a little bit short on breath. So this was, uh, of course, following the news that you can now buy merch with Dogecoin. Uh, Tesla merch, so that's great. Uh, but as I expressed um, more often, I don't think Dogecoin or Shiba is ready for a bull run uh, at this point of time. I really think Bitcoin has to be at least above fifty thousand for that. So you know, we might if we stay above that nineteen eighty, or if we close above that, then we could actually move all the way up until twenty three. Uh, but probably from the 23, we would just drop down to 19 again. And if the market stays bearish, we'll probably drop down to 16 cents again as well. Um, I'm not saying there's no long term future for Dogecoin. I mean, I think we all know that there is a lot of potential, a lot of potential capital, at least. Um, and more time in the market only means more people uh, willing to invest in crypto. So that increases the potential. I just don't think it's ready now, even if we if we don't even break that 20 cents area in the upcoming, uh, what is it, upcoming two hours? Yeah, upcoming two hours, then I just think we'll drop down to a 17 and a half cents, maybe try again to break that 20 cents from there, but without a big cataclyst, I just think that from there we'll just, as I said, drop down to 16 cents. Um, and what happens from there kind of depends on, on the state of the crypto market again. Uh, and cataclyst because for dogecoin a big cataclyst is of course the news if big news comes out forget about this technical analysis it will just go up uh, but if it doesn't i think something like this will happen depending on um, this 20 cents level we're at right now um so yeah that's basically my analysis on, on, on dogecoin if you have any questions about the analysis or you don't agree i'm always open for discussion in the comments or to give some more explanation um, so yeah, having said that, this is not financial advice, and, um, but yeah, thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.